welcome back to another episode of Zero Waste Closet. So this week we are going to do another travel capsule and we're doing a lot more of these you guys because it is spring. Many of you are planning spring break trips. A lot of you have upcoming summer plans and some of you are even talking to me about already starting to get the wheels turning about some of these fall travel plans that you have. Well specifically I am hearing that a lot of you are prepping to go on cruises and what some of you have been telling me is that the cruises you are are taking are much more casual than they used to be. Now, I know that's not true all the time. I've actually heard from a few of you that you're going on cruises where there are dress up nights, where you have themed evenings. And my minimalist advice for that, if you choose to take it, is to find small ways to acknowledge the theme without necessarily having to have an entire costume. Because if you feel like you have to play to it entirely, you're gonna end up with seven suitcases. Well, if you guys know me by now, you know that that I only ever travel with a carry-on. That includes me, my husband, and my three kids. We all only ever go with a carry-on. And this is even if we go to Europe for a month, maybe to visit my husband's family. We are so liberated by not having to deal with suitcases and lost luggage and the cost of checking bags and just the hassle of having to unpack and pack. So I would love to help you guys liberate yourselves. If you have not yet figured out how to travel with only a carry-on, then this video will hopefully be inspiration for you. So in this week's video, we are going to do a cruise travel capsule, assuming that the cruise is fairly casual and that it's a 10 day cruise. So we're going to do 11 pieces of clothing for 10 days, basically at sea. And you don't necessarily have to come to Chill Boutique unless you want to, of course, to purchase this exact travel capsule. Let this be inspiration. I want to show you guys how I actually design a travel capsule and literally going from the bottom up, you'll see how this works and just provide guidance for you and ideas. So we're gonna look at the pieces I chose and then we're gonna look at all of the different awesome outfit combos I was able to get out of them. All right, gals, so let's talk methodology first. Whenever I go to pack a travel capsule, I always start from the bottom. I always start with the shoes. And for many of you, this is the opposite of what you typically do. And so what we often do and how we end up overloaded is we often pick out all of the clothes we wanna take with us. Of course, it's so hard to edit our choices, but maybe we come up with our collection. And then the next thing we know, we need a different pair of shoes to go with every outfit. So we end up, with my gosh, like 10 pairs of shoes. Shoes are so heavy, they take up so much packing space and this is how we end up with multiple suitcases. So instead, I will tell you the game changer for me has been starting from the bottom up. So in this case, I picked three pairs of shoes for my 10 day cruise and I will tell you, you really don't need as many shoes with you as you think you do if you choose them right. So I have one pair of shoes that I'll be wearing on the plane and two others to take with me and I have nice variety. So first I picked like a really good just flip-flop and when I say flip-flop I that's really a misnomer because this little Sorel slide is one that can actually be worn with dresses out to dinner. It has a fantastic sole on it and it's waterproof so it can be worn for walking, it can be worn to dress up, and it can be of course worn casually or by the pool. So if you are looking for some kind of pool slide see if you can make it a multifunctional one. Then I definitely had to have a sneaker so I grabbed one of my favorites here this is called the Allstead sneaker by OTBT it comes in multiple colors here in store just make sure you find a good sneaker that can take you miles on foot but that also has some fashion potential and isn't necessarily only athletic okay and then last but not least I did feel like I needed one shoe that I could dress up to really elevate a look if I needed to and you guys these are fabulous new and from OTBT this this is the straw wedge and I love these. They are so comfortable. I never sacrifice comfort when choosing shoes, even for dress up, but this definitely can create a little bit of a dressier evening look. Now, if you noticed 
the color scheme and the shoe choices that I went with, you will see that I went with kind of a very neutral color scheme. So black and white features very heavily with a little bit of this neutral kind of espadrille straw color thrown in. So black, white, beige. Well, this is step two of packing for me. And so step one is I choose the footwear. Step two is I choose my color story. And in this case, girls, I'm doing something I've actually never done before in a travel capsule. I don't think I've done this before on YouTube. I have gone with a black and white theme. And although that may seem very kind of monotonous and boring, I actually decided in this case, it would make things really, really easy for a mix and match. And that I was gonna go crazy and have fun with accessories that are so lightweight. So I will definitely get my pops of fun and color in there, but it will be through earrings, handbags, etc. All right, so let's look at the 11 pieces of clothing that I chose to go on this cruise with this black and white theme in mind. So let's start with the tops here. We're going to do one black basic tank top for layering, so make sure you include those layering pieces. Then I chose this great little pinstriped black and white shirt from Urban Daisy. Nice little tie waist top, can be dressed up or down, nice and lightweight. Then you guys know I would never go anywhere without my white Riley shirt from Velvet Heart. So of course that's in here, Tencel. It can be styled so many different ways. If you're not sure what to do with this shirt, all you have to do is go back to my last video where you will see seven, or I think it was two videos ago, seven different ways to style the Riley shirt and oh my gosh, you're set. And then I also wanted to have a blazer in there that I could use to dress things up or down. It needed to be a very casual, easy blazer. And I love these linen blazers here from Urban Daisy, you guys. They're a really nice, slightly structured, but not overly structured piece, very lightweight, they're fine if they get a little wrinkly. It's that kind of crinkly linen. It's so nice, great price point. If you need one, these are great. Otherwise, grab something from your closet and have that blazer to dress up again or down or maybe just a nice kind of layering piece if things get chilly for you. And then the final piece on the top was a kimono. And I love this knit kimono here from Coco and Carmen. I love this because it can be styled as a piece that I really dress up um, just to finish an outfit. It can be used as an outer layer if I am cold. And this is also a fantastic double as a swimsuit cover up. For the bottoms, I chose three easy, very versatile pieces. First, the shorts, and I said my color story was black and white. Well, black, white, and really augmented by denim too, because anything denim just fits right in. So these great little shorts here from Velvet Heart are awesome. They're in Tencel. I like them because they can dress up or down. And again, just packing tip here, I always talk about try not to bring single use pieces or pieces that are too dressy or too casual because then they won't multitask for you. This is a great multitasking short. Then I brought a pair of white high-waisted jeans here from Just Black Denim. I love these. Again, the white is just really nice. It's very fresh. It can be styled a lot of ways. And I also feel like a white jean has a little bit more dress-up potential if necessary for the evening. And then last but not least, I brought the matching black jogger to that black blazer you just saw. So if I really wanted to get dressy, it could be a whole matching set, or of course these are beautifully, beautifully styled, worn separately from the blazer. And last but not least, three one-piece items, dresses slash jumpsuits. So first we have this great little tensile dress here from Velvet Heart. I mean, nobody does tensile better than Velvet Heart in my opinion. I love this little dress. One, because it's just so easy. It's very comfortable. It's very packable. It can be dressed up or down. And two, because it's a button down, I can actually wear it open as a duster over pants if I wanted to. So it's super duper versatile. Then I decided to include this new little baby doll dress here from Studio Co. You guys, this is an organic cotton. I absolutely love it 
very comfortable, can also double as a swimsuit cover-up, can be worn as a dress or can be worn as a tunic over skinny pants or jeans. And then finally, I just could not resist. I had to put in something with just a tiny bit of color, but it's still kind of on the black and white theme. It works in with all of the accessories I'm gonna bring. And that is this gorgeous jumpsuit here from America and Beyond. And I really like this because it is very lightweight. It has that nice kind of tropical cruising feel. And also I felt like if there is is an evening where I just feel like I really do want to be a little more elevated and dressed up. This is a really nice piece that can be made very dressy by the choice of shoes and accessories. So gals, the last piece of the puzzle here that I want to share with you before launching in to the 10 days of looks is the handbag selection. We're going to see accessories when I show you the outfits, so earrings, etc. But for the handbags, I want to just point out that this is also a great way to just add some flavor to your outfit, add some color and some fun. And it's an easy packable item as long as you choose the right bags. So I have two bags I plan to accessorize with. One is the little crossbody bag here from Bamboo Trading Company. These come, whoops, we're tangled here. These come in a variety of colors and designs. I love them. They're inexpensive. They pack, they're really nice and flat, can be worn for an evening out, can be worn during the daytime when you just want to be traveling lightly. They have multiple pockets, so one at the top for your phone, one on the side for your money, keys, etc., passport, whatever it may be. It all seems to fit in this bag and I love it. Again, very easy and packable. And then I don't think I would ever travel now without a sling of some sort. These are the best bags. This is kind of like the hot ticket item right now. And this one in particular is from Coco and Carmen. I love it because you can change out the strap if you want to have a different look. This little sling fits so much. It sits on the front of your body as you're going to see in some of my looks here. And you can fit a water bottle. You can fit pretty much your whole life into this bag. And it's nice and secure as it sits on the front of you, especially if you want to store your passport and money in there. Okay, so let's talk about the bags that we're actually traveling with. I always go, of course, suitcase free. So I have one personal item over my shoulder and then I have my carry-on bag. And these little things can fit into the carry-on bag. I can just slide my purse right inside into, sorry, my personal item that is kind of like your purse, but it can be a big oversized piece. So let's look at my perfect oversized piece for that. I will tell you girls, this bag from Consuela is to die for. It is pretty ginormous, I'm not gonna lie. They make it in a smaller version, but I love it because it sits on the shoulder really easily. Yes, you could pass this off as a monster purse. This bag fits so much in it. We carry it here in store in multiple designs. It's under $100. It's like a waxed canvas, so it's waterproof. I love it. It's a perfect beach or pool bag, and it is the ultimate carry-on carry-all. So this is great for my personal item. And then I, of course, will have have my carry-on bag which I fit my wardrobe into and I'm going to show you one of my favorite weekenders if you guys need a weekender bag let me tell you again Consuela is hitting it out of the park you guys these bags are so fun and so colorful they are gorgeous on the inside and the outside and it's the perfect little compact bag that will actually fit right under the seat in front of you and believe it or not would be able to fit this entire wardrobe into Okay, so without further ado, let's look at my 10 days of outfits for cruising using these 11 pieces of clothing, three pieces of shoes, and an array of fabulous accessories to go along with it. Day one starts with a really easy travel outfit. So I have paired the tensile shorts back to the sweater knit kimono just for ease and comfort for the plane. And then my slides, which are like walking in sneakers, but easy to get off and on. Of course, I've got my really nice oversized carry-on bag and the black tank. And this is a great way to transition from my home environment right into a cruising environment. Day two, I decided to start the trip with an easy one and done concept. So I've got the tensile dress on from Velvet Heart. Just so easy to throw on, very, very comfortable. And I've got the crossbody sling and then my slides again, just for ease. And it's just a great, simple look. 
Day three, I imagine going out on an excursion and wanting to dress in a way that is comfortable and yet really sophisticated. So I love the pinstripe shirt here from Urban Daisy paired back to the black linen joggers. It's just really simple. Maybe I start out in flat shoes for walking and then don the higher espadrille for more of an evening look. Very chic and at the same time, very, very comfortable. Day four, we see the introduction of the white cotton baby doll top, which again is just a very easy piece. I love that it can transition from pool to daytime, even to nighttime. And then this is a great example of where colorful accessories make all the difference. This is a white basic monochromatic outfit from top to bottom, but then by adding in some color that's very easy to pack, I get a whole fabulous look. And this is just a really nice way to take it from morning to night. Day five, I decide to take the style up a notch. Maybe this is a day where I stay on the ship and we have a little bit of a dressier evening out, or this could absolutely be a day about town, maybe shopping. And what I really love, as I spoke about before, is the fact that this sling can easily change looks by switching out the strap. So here I bring another strap, very easy to pack, one that matches this outfit a little bit better than the original strap, and then I pair it back to the high wedge espadrilles for an ultra chic look and I actually take off the tie waist and substitute in a belt. Day six is one of my favorite outfits because it is both so comfortable and feels so chic at the same time. I've got the straw earrings on for some style, paired back to the great crossbody bag from Bamboo Trading Company, the ultra comfy stretchy white jeans, the elegant black kimono, and the high wedge espadrille, which could be my dinner look or my daytime look. Again, they are really so comfortable, but if I wanted to, I could easily substitute in the the black sneaker or the slide here. Day seven, the white Riley shirt makes an appearance. And in this case, I knot it at the waist over the Tencel shorts. I pop on the cute little earrings here, very colorful from America and beyond. This is just a really casual look that could be a day at the pool as well as a day on an excursion about town. And again, any of the three shoe choices could work here. I love day eight because it shows the versatility of the velvet heart tensile dress. Remember, we spoke about the fact that it makes a great little shift dress, but at the same time can also be worn as a little duster cardigan. I love it paired back to the white jeans with the sling and the sandal slides. And this is 100% a morning, noon, and evening outfit. Day nine is totally built on classics. So we see the white Riley shirt. This time it's half tucked into the black linen joggers. I bring some personality and flair to it with the turquoise earrings, the turquoise bracelet, and then the sling. And I also love the fact that it shows that the sling can be thrown over the shoulder and just worn as a normal handbag. And I have, have it all paired back to the high espadrilles. But again, we could do the slides or sneakers here. And finally, day 10 for the journey home, I wanted something both sophisticated and comfortable. So I bring out the white jeans just because they're so stretchy and easy for comfort, sophistication, and a little bit of extra coverage in case the plane gets cold. I have the black linen blazer on. I have the sneakers on for added comfort. And then I love the extra flair of the pink tie-dye scarf. Gals, thank you so much for joining me this week for another one of my super fun travel capsules. I consider it super fun. I love to pack. Never let packing be stressful. If you follow the formula I have shared with you, I guarantee it's going to be easy and you should be able to shop within your own closet and make quick, easy decisions. So if you guys have any questions, ideas, need help with anything, please feel free to email me at lisa at shopchillstyle.com and you're always welcome to leave a comment in the comment 
section below. I love your feedback. And if you need any pieces to fill in your travel capsule, you know you can come in store to our Chill Boutique store here in Fountain Hills, Arizona. Or if you're not lucky enough to be in AZ, then of course jump online to our shop at www.shopchillstyle.com. If you guys liked this week's video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps this channel. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you jump on and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Zero Waste Closet. And that way you guys get notifications whenever new videos come out. Guys, thank you so much for all of your support and love. I also want to note something really cool and share this with you guys. We just got nominated by the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce for Retailer of the Year. This is super exciting. So we will win if we get enough votes. And if you guys don't mind jumping online to cast your votes, I would really, really appreciate it. I will put a link to the voting page in the description box below and uh, one vote per person. And again, we really appreciate your support. Have a great week, ladies, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.